Edward here from ERViewer.com. I have another video for you. Uh, this is a, an ARV uh, project that I recently done. Uh, just getting back to, to doing some videos here, remote viewing videos. Uh, the remote viewing never stops for me. The interest never goes away. Uh, just other projects that I'm doing, uh, and it's just a matter of fitting in time to do uh, some of these videos. But I was recently inspired to, to do an ARV project um, after uh, these uh, hurricanes that came through, specifically Irma and Maria. Uh, they're so unusual looking to me, um, storms and with their intensity and, and kind of what they were doing. Uh, so I began to, and seeing some things on the internet with people suggesting it, but I began to wonder if there was some type of uh, influence being done um, with some type of weather modification uh, on these storms. And so I was inspired to, to put together a little ARV project to see if I could uh, get, get some answers or get see what happened. You know, I love doing these ARV projects. Uh, they're just really interesting to me. They're really fun to do and I just enjoy them. Uh, I don't take the answers. Uh, I take it all with a grain of salt. I'm not saying that um, you know whatever comes through in an ARV project is an absolute truth. Uh, I'm not saying that. I just find it very interesting to experiment with and uh, and to work with. So I put together a question and I had to think about how I wanted to word this uh, project because I didn't want to say was um, either Ir Hurricane Irma or Hurricane, Hurricane Maria uh, influenced by weather modification technology because there's, there's too many things involved. Uh, there, there is geoengineering going on, uh, admittedly, uh, chemtrails uh, in the air, seeding, cloud seeding. These types of things are being done, so I didn't want to have the answer get pushed into, into that category uh, by default, just based on the, the, the criteria that I'm putting uh, the project under. So I wanted to come up with something specific. And so I put together this question, and I call this ARV Project 5137. The question, was Hurricane Irma or Maria, either one, artificially intensified with the use of weather modification technology? If the answer is yes, I'll describe uh, feedback uh, image A. If the answer is no, I'll describe the feedback in image B. Uh, so that's what I was looking for, something more specific. What, were either of those storms artificially intensified? That, that brings it into its own category, and that, so that, that made it even more interesting to me, and I was even more curious uh, after coming up with that. Uh, so I reached out to my friend Dustin, uh, asked him if he'd be able to participate in this project with me and select a couple of targets. He said he would. Uh, I asked him on the 21st of September. I sent him a text. He said, yeah. Um, he selected the targets uh, the following day. I did the session the following morning. And uh, this is him. He, I, I asked him to you know, put the, seal the images in an envelope, give them to somebody else to label them A and B so there's some blindness to who knows what images associated with what uh, um, letter. So here he is opening the uh, letters, uh, envelopes with the images that he selected. My name is Dustin Newcomb. It's 12.20 p.m. Sunday, the 24th of September. Uh, Edward Reardon had contacted me Thursday night and asked me to pick two targets. By Saturday at about 7.20 a.m., I had those targets selected. Um, I gave them to my wife, who then put them in two separate envelopes, marked them A and B. So we'll start with envelope A. This is a 66 Chevelle Super Sport. Really cool car. Envelope B. This is the Cayman Trench off the coast of uh, one of the Cayman Islands, a popular dive spot. So if we go by um, the, the images um, and how they were selected, it falls under the answer of B, no. My session was all about water. I was uh, ex experiencing water. And uh, right from the beginning of the session, as you'll see in, in, the, um, in the video. And so if we can go by what I was experiencing in my session compared to the feedback photos, then the answer is no. The 
it, those hurricanes were not uh, intensified with the use of uh, weather modification technologies. Again, not the answer that I was looking to get. Uh, I will, I'm always looking to see if there's a conspiracy going on. Um, and with a lot of these ARVs, uh, I don't get the answer that I'm assuming. So, uh, so who knows? Does that answer fully resolve it for me? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm, I kind of fall into the category of there may be something weird going on or uh, some kind of weaponized weather technology may be being used. Uh, you know, I'll, 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 I'll allow myself to go, go into that and, and explore it. So I'm not sure how I feel about this answer. Uh, do I, be, will I accept the answer or not? Who knows? I just, I, I like to do this. I enjoy it. It's fun and it's interesting and we'll see what happens. Uh, but as far as getting down to the, to what's going on with, with the weather and whether it is being influenced, uh, with some type of technology, I mean, that, that's a lot of different, uh, ARV questions and, and narrowing down. Uh, there's, there's just a ton of questions in there to, 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 um, address. But as far as this one goes, uh, the, the experience that I had with the remote viewing, uh, matched the image associated uh, with B, meaning no. So take it for what it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and many more to come. Eight thirty-six a.m. September twenty-second. Calling this ARV Project Five One Three Seven. I sent Dustin a text last night at ten twenty-one, requesting that he select two targets for an ARV experiment. He does not know what the question is, and I also asked him to seal the images and then have somebody else label them A and B so he doesn't know which one is A and which one's B. This is the question that I am attempting to answer. I'm going to attempt to use ARV, Associated Remote Viewing, to answer this question. Was Hurricane Irma or Maria artificially intensified with the use of weather, weather modification technologies? If the answer is yes, I will describe feedback image A. If the, image, if the answer is no, I will describe feedback image B. So I am going to attempt to obtain an answer to this question using ARV. Was Irma or Maria intensified? with the use of weather modification technologies? Yes or no? I'm only interested in the target associated with the correct answer. As far as I know, Dustin has not selected the targets yet. He has not given me, given me, he has not responded back saying that he has selected them. So at this moment, the, the targets may um, not have been selected yet. So their selection may exist in the future. So on top of trying to answer this question, I also may be uh, perceiving a target that has yet to be selected. Okay, now that that's out of the way, the only thing that I'm interested in now is perceiving elements of the quote unquote target, the range of time and space that are associated with the correct answer. That's all I'm interested in now. Five, one, three, seven. White, blue, damp, yellow, foamy, inside, around, black, dim, 
sharp pointed narrow back and forth green looping shadowed Getting this random thought, or it could be unimpeded, of nails. Five, one, three, seven. Five, one, three, seven. Five, one, three, seven. Sloping. Narrow. Dipping. Smooth. Wet. Five, one, three, seven. Five one three seven. Five one three seven. Wavy. Moist. I'm getting um, Moist and wet. Or at least an element of the target that is wet. Five one three seven. Five one three seven. Smooth, long, lengthy, grooved, brown, black, silver, glassy, steamy, steamy. Steamy, steamy, pr uh, pressured. Pressured. Five one three seven. Five one three seven. Five one three seven. Uh, build up. Pressure. Um. Releasing. Flowing, um, dripping, splashing.
dense, smooth, looping, close. Airy, 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 airy. Dripping. Okay, I'm going to end on that. If this is on, <clears throat> then this will be enough to, this will be enough to um, decide if uh, this is correct. But my, the aesthetic well, not much of an aesthetic, but a dimensional sensation and a, a dimensional sensation of pressure, like a steam pressure, a liquid, um, humid, misty. Those types of things. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna leave it at that. If this is on, it's on. I don't need any more information than this. I'm gonna end this. It is eight forty seven AM September twenty second. I will wait for Dustin to confirm that he has selected the targets and we'll see from here.